Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to my channel Amanah Service This is our first video made in English A video of repairing the PCB module of Samsung washing machine This PCB module was sent from one of our customer in Denpasar, Bali. This module is not functional at all, so the machine cannot be turned on. And then, how to remove the PCB from the case? So, we can use two pieces of flat screwdriver to pry the PCB from the case. Do it carefully to prevent the PCB cracks. Pry the PCB slowly and carefully from one edge to the other side. We have checked this PCB and we found that there is no DC voltage. Measure DC voltage on this white socket, pin number 3, 4, and 5. Let's check this out. Use an AC voltmeter to measure the AC line in. Connect the power line. As you see in the multimeter, the power line is good. It's about 230. Next step. Measure the DC voltage. From this measurement, we get the DC voltage R0. So, we conclude that there is a problem with power supply. This section is block of power supply. Then, how to check the block of power supply? First, check the main fuse. Second step, check the PTC or thermal protector.
third step, check the transformers. <laughs> Check primary coil of the transformers. We found that primary coil broken. Next, check the secondary coil. Ensure that the coil are connected. Last, Check the feedback coil. The position is next to the primary coil pin. Okay, let's remove the transformer. The new transformers is already fitted. Then check connection between the transformers coil to the PCB. Ensure that its coil are connected correctly. Okay, after confirming that installation of the transformers are good let's connect the pcb module to the power line
as you see in the multimeter the 5 DC volt is available then the 12 DC volt also available Next, we connect the display. Alhamdulillah. Okay, that's all for this PCB module repair. Thank you for watching. I hope it is useful. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.